Hi everyone, welcome to the pandas any and all function. In this session, we will learn about how to implement any and all some function. Well, pandas any function is used to check whether any element is true over the axis and it returns false unless there are at least one element with a series that is true. Similarly, the all function is used to check whether all elements are true potentially over an axis and it returns true unless there are at least one element with a series that is false. And how, what does it mean? It means that suppose we have a uh, salary column and in this salary column we have multiple values now we need to check if any of this value in the row is 60,000 then it will return true so we can see that there are two rows which has uh, the value 60,000 this row and this row the output returns true now if we change this value okay if this if we change it to 80,000 and if we change the last row to also some other values to 70,000 now in that case this will become false and the last row also become false okay so you can see this is how the any function works if at least any of the values satisfy it will throw true else it will return false so this will also change to false okay we can see here uh, all will work exactly opposite of the any function if you are checking for 60,000 and if we are applying the all function it will try to see whether 60,000 is present in all the rows of my column salary uh, column now in this case only two calls will get return true but the expectation is all the rows should return true then only we will get the output as true and so hence it will return the value as false so let's implement it with python and uh, what i will show you the line of action is i will show you uh, how to implement uh, any and all with the series with uh, pandas data frame and ultimately we'll uh, do some hands-on with titanic data set first of all we have Im will import the pandas and numpy now if you see here suppose we have a pandas series okay for any it means if any of the value is true the output will be true but here there is no true value so it, the output will be false now the second case in this case it asks you if all the value is true then only output will be true so this will also be false now in the next case if it is any then at least one of the value is true then the output will be true so it is true and uh, in all it will check for all the values to be true so it will throw as false in this case if both the values is true for any then it's fine it's very it's well and fine the output will be true and again for all it expects all the value of the row it expects all the values to be true and we have both the values are true so output will be true so that's how the series will work okay that's how we can implement any and all function with the series now we will see how we'll implement okay so we'll take some panda series okay and uh, we'll execute this by default for a uh, numerical values it will check any of the value is greater than zero so we have so many values is greater than zero so the output will be true because there is only one zero rest everything is greater than zero for all it will check that whether all the element in this series is zero and it will be false because only one is zero one element is zero rest everything is one you can alternatively apply in this fashion you can use a dot method or you can use a directly function okay now if we check if we change this value okay to one now if we apply any on this x greater than one now is any of the values in this will execute this what is my x x is the series okay four five one one uh, five one nine seven now any of the value here is greater than one obviously yes so this will throw true and this if all the values is greater than one no it will throw false so that's how the any and all function will we will work with the boolean and then we have implemented it using series now suppose we'll create a data frame and we'll have two columns okay we'll create a data frame and we have two columns we'll apply this all function okay we'll check whether if all will apply all dfx greater than df of y if it is true then if it is correct then true will be printed else false will be printed now if you see here 1 is less than 6, 2 is less than 7, 3 is less than 8, 4 is le and less than 9 and 5 is less than 10. Then obviously all the condition is satisfied and the true will be printed. What is my df? If you see here, this value 39 is greater than 8. Okay. Now if we execute this, all will not satisfy because all the value of x is not greater than uh, like uh, all the value of y. So it will definitely throw false. Now again we will take this data set and we will implement any. This is my df. Now what we will do, we will see whether any of uh, df of x is less than uh, d of y will check true then again we will check so now what we'll do we'll change the value of this data set and we'll have something like this uh, if any of this my x yes 
only one value is less than this uh, is greater than 8 9 is greater than but rest everything 1 2 4 5 is still 1 is greater uh, is 1 is less than 6 2 is less than 7 4 is less than 9 5 is in the, less than 10 so if we execute this again true will be printed okay now if we change this condition here d of fx if any d of fx okay is greater than because 9 is greater than 8 here right now we'll change this back and we'll execute this now if you see any of my df of x is greater than d of f y no so it will definitely go to false so that's how we'll uh, execute it using a pandas data frame now we will pandas data frame now what we'll do we'll execute some queries and we'll wrap it up so suppose we have a, a train data set which i have got from uh, taggle.com uh, so this is my data set df and it has several columns okay so we will play with the age and the fair column we will execute three queries like if any person is there we will we need to check it's nothing all and any is nothing it's a kind of like um, alternative for the queries sql queries that we run we'll check whether if any person is there with the age 70 75 or 80 and also we will check if any person is traveling without any fare and we will again we will check if any infant is traveling infant is nothing but a uh, baby less than one year of age so the very first question is if any person is there with the age of 70 so first of all we will we'll give columns df dot columns these are the columns whenever we are applying uh, this it will be applied on the series df dot uh, age equals to equals to 70 dot any if any of the age right so we'll execute this so it is true it means that there are people with age 70 who is traveling in the ship so how we will find we'll see here we will verify with our data set later on but after that uh okay we'll verify it now itself this is my age column we'll click here now it is in the descending order you can see there are two columns with uh, passenger is 673 and 746 okay with the age 70 673 and 746 with the age 70 now we will check whether any uh, passenger is traveling with the age 75 there is no passenger with the age 75 we will check 80 age 80 for the age 80 there is a passenger resize this and uh, we will see okay the very first uh, okay in the descending order uh, the very first passenger is with the passenger with the age 80 and uh, with the 75 there is no passenger with the age 70 okay and the passenger ride at 631 is with the age 30 so we'll come here and we'll see here we'll execute here okay passenger id with the age 31 uh, with the passenger id 631 has is of the age 80 now we will see whether any person is traveling without paying anything so we'll see here df we we'll create a series df dot fair because fair column if you see df dot this is a fair column which is in f is in caps df dot fair which equals equal to zero dot any okay so there is column now if we see here if we apply whether all that passenger is traveling with zero fare no so how we'll get the value of this df df dot fair equals equals to zero so there are 15 rows so where the fare is zero so we will enlarge this and we'll verify we'll go to the fare column you can see here right from these many person are there with the fare of zero now we'll see whether if any infant is also travel was has traveled in the trip in that case the age will be should be less than one so we'll create a df series uh, series and we'll check age which is less than one dot any so yes there are definitely there are uh, infants so we'll find the df uh, df dot age equals equals to is less than one and this is correct here we'll execute this so there are around uh, six or seven babies or infants traveling in the ship so how do we find that go here and uh, we'll go to the age column and you can see here right less than one is one two three four five six so that is all about the pandas any and all function you can apply it on numpy uh, you can apply it on uh, series and pandas data frame. so thanks a lot for watching this session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button subscribe to the channel and also please uh, share it with your friends that will help me and uh, also please note my next session will be related to k4 roswell score and Crosswell predict and cross validate. So I'll see you in my next session. Thank you.